Well, you can see here we're walking down this dirt road, and uh, we came to this spot. There's an arrow in the middle of the road. Grandpa said it must have been made by an Indian. Then these guys went wandering off into the woods over in here someplace. I think they're headed towards this famous beaver pond. We're going to check it out here in a minute. See where the heck them guys went. Well, I was walking up through the woods and there's these two characters sitting on this log. I don't know what these guys are doing, but they got to be up to no good. So, they're pointing way off across the mountains there. There must be something down in there, a big beaver flow or something like that. We're going to go see if there's any trout in there. So, bear with us. Well, Bussy explains everything here that's going on. And uh, we'll get something out of this beaver pond. Maybe it's only a bunch of leeches. Well, I think I know what they're looking at. Seems to be a beaver pond out here in front of us someplace. We're standing on this big old moose trail. I imagine them knock spots in the log there where the moose head against it with their hooves going over the log. Maybe I'm wrong. We gotta get down here and check this out and see how many these huge trout are in this little pond. Ha ha ha. Well, first thing I gotta show you is this is where this beaver pond is. And you can see Mount Katahdin out in the background. So all you guys that know these woods up here, like anybody does, they're gonna know right where the beaver pond is. And them guys are wandering down there. I think I see a critter in the woods there. Look like a doozer critter. He's partially camouflaged. It's really pretty with Katahdin out in the background there, looking over this beaver pond. Well, these guys are up on the dam. I'm standing over here in the middle of a bunch of leeches, probably, trying to film them. But they're going to see what's in this little beaver pond. There's the house. It's pretty deep right here. I don't know if they can get their lines out and all this wind do anything. But it looks like they're trying to work a fly out there. I don't know what the heck those arm motions mean over there with Dad. But there he is. Loser's figuring his outfit out. Once he gets the leader out past the end of the rod, he's got a pretty long leader for this type of fishing. Well, Dad's casting out there. Let's see if we can figure out. Well, I see. Oh, and a brookie jumps out and pounds the fly. It's a little guy, but man, for the first cast on the water, I can't believe I got that on tape. This is live, folks. There's no dubbing or editing or nothing going on here. Doozer, what are you doing over there? Trying to get my pole rigged up without... There's a little Katahdin rookie. He no monster, but... Dad'll have him back in the water here in no time. There he goes. You said that. You see how far away these guys are from me. I'm trying not to spook their fishing. So... Now he's trying to figure the fly out. Standing there in all that brush. And Doozer's got a fly on the water. You can see the fly drifting there. In the shadow of Dad's legs. Doozer picks it back up and lays it back out. Now i got to find it again. I got the big one. I got the big one, friend. All right. Oh, my. Boy, for this pond... That's a nice fish. Man, he's giving me a fight. You don't want to come in, huh? No. Holy smoke. Wow, look at that fish fight. You'd think he had a 10 pound fish on there. I'll tell you, for this pond, though, that is an awesome fish. Oh! 
That's a brook trout for this pond. That, that's a nice brook trout for this pond. Like they say on all the fishing shows, look at the color of that fish. He might not be big, but boy does he have good color. And back in he goes. Bite somebody else's line. Dudes, what are you doing over there? Can't get no fish? Huh? No. They won't hit it? I think Grandpa give you the bum side. Well, we're going to take a break here for a second and get dudes onto some fish. <laughs> Dad's in another little one. Here's Doozer's fly on the water. Just kind of sitting there unmolested. They used that pattern last night. They might have learned. He's over there. He's having a heck of a time with that trout. This is main fishing at its finest if you like these little beaver ponds. Can't beat it. I know we love it. He swallowed a dry fly? Dude's working out his cast in here. He's laying that line right out there for getting around them trees. He's getting real good at this. Them fish don't seem to want nothing to do with that green stone fly. I got a lot of nice patterns in my pocket here. We get him into another fly. Well, dues if I can find him here. Got himself into a nice one. We put on a caddis for him. Let's see what we got here. He's trying to steer him in. I can see the line. Is he on there? Yeah, but so is the tree. Well, Doozer's hung in the tree. He couldn't steer the fish. I guess I gotta go help him. Hang on a minute. Well, Doozer's got him off the tree somehow. I don't know where he is, but oh, there's a little brookie. Oh, he got a nice one. He got a nice one for on that caddis. Notice he gets his hands wet before he handles the fish. It's all catch and release. What do you think, dudes? How about a smile? <laughs> there's a big smile from him. There he is. He shows him off. Back in the water he goes. And he's ready for another cast. Dad's over there. He's reeling in buckets of them. Thank goodness he's putting them all back. Anybody who wants to doubt this, we got this on tape. What's jumping in front of you? That was me. <laughs> okay. We'll be back in a minute. There's got to be other ponds in here, so we'll see if we can get another one. 